Hello guys, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So today I'm going to teach you how to calculate the specific capacitance, energy density, power density from the galvanostatic charge discharge GCD. As you can see, this is the GCD. So you first you must uh, have an Excel where you already set up the table for the current apply, for the time, discharging time, starting initial and final. You also must plot the delta T in hours, delta T in uh, in seconds. So you must have the delta V, which is the potential, and also the mass and the other formula, current time delta T, delta V time M, and also you can get the specific capacitance and you can also get specific energy and also specific power okay let's see one by one okay first of all is the current apply okay this is depend on your experiment in this case we have a one two three four five current density so minimum you must have five current density to have a nice graph so we must have the current density so uh, in order to find the current apply is uh, the current density you have your mass your mass must be timed with the current density then you can get the amount of current apply for example we see from this experiment okay this experiment is one ampere per gram the current density so we must know the mass the mass you can with your sample then after you weigh your sample so you can get for example at one current density your mass is 0 0.0015 gram so you times 1 so you can get your current apply is 0 0.0015 ampere so enough with the current apply so we go to the seconds time in second because as you can see from your graph here you your graph running in the seconds you can see here this is battery type GCD as you can see it's not a triangular normal triangular you can see non triangular shape so the time in second okay how to take the time from where to where is it from the whole graph or only the discharging graph normally we take the second cycle here so as you can see first you click at the repeat and time Okay, after repeat and time, this is the first cycle. Go to the second cycle. This indicates the graph for the second cycle. We don't want the charging one. We want the discharging, the time when it start discharge here. Okay, you click here. After you click here, you can go, you can see to the record signal. For the discharging time, click record signal and you can see the data. Okay, here see the excel again so they said take the initial and the final one okay take the initial and final so it means that we must take the initial current the initial current hey no the initial time here the initial time is 81.563 you take this one minus with the 100.863 this is the final uh, take that current uh, 81 and also 100 you take and then you get uh, this is the different final minus initial which is 19 seconds means that uh, this graph takes only 19 seconds to discharge the current okay then finish with the delta t this is I show you only for the first current density you can repeat and not necessary you starting with one if your experiment start the current density with five six seven eight nine ten you can start with five if your experiment start with 0 0.1 you can start from 0 0.1 depend on your experiment okay we got already the delta t then from the second we want to change to the hour as you can see the formula is the time you got in the seconds divide by 60 divide again by 60 um, for example for your uh, easy for your easiness actually it's divide by 6 and 6 3600 because uh, one hour we got 3600 seconds if i'm not mistaken so they changed the time in hour 
we got a formula in our so that after the time finish we want to know the delta v delta v is a you take from the graph also as you can see here delta v is here the initial is 0 0.0131073 and this is the final the initial one is from here this is the initial so you just take from the graph and you just put so you can know that the potential window is 1.4 so you just minus initial and final so it's quite simple here to got the potential window so even though you know that uh, you run the potential window from 0 to 1.4 but you must get the exact value from the graph uh, from the graph here this is the initial and you got the final final is negative 0 0.0043 okay finish with that okay then we go to data v data v is finished so active mass active mass is uh, this our sample mass 0 0.0015 and then just put the value uh, current time delta t so we got the value current time delta t in second then current time delta t in hour they will convert you quite simple if you if you have this table then you have potential window time mass and then you got a potential window time mass in kilogram and then after you got all that you can get the specific capacitance uh, you can google the formula of specific capacitance actually it's quite simple it's specific capacitance is far gram you can know from the gcd what is the formula and you must convert into far per kilogram and then you can calculate the specific energy and also specific power so the main important point to take from the gcd is the discharging time and also the potential window that's all then if you study the formula you organize in the excel for sure you can plot you can calculate the specific energy specific power and also specific capacitance I think that's all. So by the GCD, you can get the CSP, energy density, and also power density. Okay, that's all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.